are welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are just coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, or if you have not subscribed, please don't forget to click the red subscribe button so that and also turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you and God bless you. Today I want to provide a solution to ICANN November 2022 financial accounting questions foundation level. Now I'm starting with the multiple choice questions. ICANN November 2022 financial accounting foundation level. Number one, which of the following transactions results in an increase in cash of the business? The one that will result in an increase in cash of the business. A, drawings from the business. So if the owner will draw cash, the cash of the owners or of the business will reduce. Drawings will lead to reduction in cash. Therefore, answer is not drawings. B, payment for a new asset. If a new asset is acquired and payment is made, the cash of the entity will reduce. So it will not lead to an increase in cash. C, a proceed from disposal of non-current assets. We are not current assets are sold and the entity receive, receive cash. The cash of the entity will increase. Therefore, this will lead to an increase in cash. So the correct answer is C. A payment to a supplier. Where suppliers are paid for the goods bought, the cash of the entity will reduce. So the answer is not D. Goods sold on credit to customer. Where goods are sold on credit. In fact, this one does not involve the receipt of cash. Cash have not yet been received upon the sales of the goods on credit. So this one will not affect the cash position of the entity until the cash is received for the goods sold. So the answer is not E. So the correct answer is option C. C is the answer. C is the answer. Now, number two. Which of the following is correct? Is a correct accounting principle. Which of the following is a correct accounting principle? A. Revenue should be supported by owner's capital. Revenue and owner's capital, there is no correlation between them. So the answer cannot be A. So B. There should be a balance in the payment, uh, in the payables account in order to measure total assets. There is no correlation between uh, payables account being balanced in order to measure the owner assets. So the answer cannot be B. C. Where payable account is zero. The asset. Now I want to demonstrate this. Where payable account is zero. The asset are equal to the owner's equity. Now you know accounting equation. You have assets. Assets. Assets equals to equity plus liabilities. If asset is equity plus liabilities. And you were told that where the payable account is zero. If payables, you know payable is a, is, is a liability. The assets are equal to the owner's equity. Now, if liability is zero, if this one is zero, that means you have your assets equal to equity. So, the option C is correct. So, this could be the answer. Now, let's look at the option D. Total liabilities and equity are equal. Now, let's see. This equation, equity and liabilities, they can never be equal. Equity and liabilities, they cannot be equal. Uh, so, this equation is not correct. So, this is not correct. E, total asset can be less than liabilities. You know the accounting equation, we say assets equal to equity plus liabilities. So, if asset is less than liabilities, so that is not ID. So, the answer cannot be E. So, the correct answer to number two is 
option C. Option C is the correct answer. So number two. So C is the answer. Number three. A check of five million naira paid to Alaji Dalami had been correctly entered in the cash book, but was omitted in Alaji Dalami's account. Now, you were told a check of five million to Alaji Dalami had been correctly entered in the cash book. You know, a check paid to Alaji Dalami. Alaji Dalami is the receiver. This is the receiver. Why bank is the giver? Bank is the giver. In line with the double entry. You know, the paycheck to Alaji Dalami. Alaji Dalami is the one that will, is the person that will receive the check. So since Alaji Dalami is the receiver, Alaji Dalami account ought to be debited. They ought to have debited Alaji Dalami account and credit bank account. This is the double entry they ought to have passed. But, but let's see what they have done. So, they were, you were told that had been correctly entered in the cash book. That means the bank account has been credited correctly. This one is correct. Cash book. But was omitted in Alaji Dalami's account. That means Alaji Dalami account that ought to have been debited was not debited. So, now, the question now goes just to correct this error, debit Alaji Dalami account. Yes, so we ought to debit the Alaji Dalami's account. Since bank account has been credited, that means the account that will be credited will be suspense account. So, in this case, the is to credit the suspense account. Credit suspense account. Since bank account has been credited. So, if you now debit Alaji Dalami, we are going to credit suspense account. Let's look at the option. A, that is to credit cash account. No. So it's not cash account that will be credited. B, to credit bank account. Bank account has been correctly credited. So this is not the answer. Then to, correct, uh, to credit suspense account. Yes, this is the correct answer. So suspense account will be credited. No. To credit purchase account. No. To credit control account. No. So the correct answer here is option C. So C is the correct answer. Let's look at number four. Success Motors bought three Toyota vehicles on cash at the cost of 16 million. On debiting the vehicle's account, the corresponding credit entry for the purchase will appear in the dash. Now, Success Motor. Success Motor. Now, let's see the double entry. When you acquire a motor vehicle, you no, know, this we have a motor vehicles account and cash account. So in this case, they ought to have debit motor vehicles account account and credit cash account because the entity receives motor vehicles and they are given out cash in payment. So debit motor vehicle account with 16 million a credit cash account with the sum of 60 million. So now let's go further. On debiting the vehicle's account, so this one has been debited. This one is correct. The corresponding credit entry for the purchase will appear in the dash. So cash account. So that means the corresponding entry will appear in the cash account. A says the book. No, not says the book. B purchase the book. No. C payable accounts. No. D cash book. Yes. The correct answer is option D. E purchase account. No. So the correct answer is option D. Number five. An item credited in the bank statement but yet to be recorded in the firm's cash book is A standing order. Order by the customer to the bank to pay someone on their behalf. Once the bank pays the person, the bank will debit the customer's account. So this will appear as a debit entry in the bank statement, not a credit entry. So you were to an item credited in the bank statement. So what you need is the one that has been credited. Direct transfer. When you transfer money into your bank account, 
your account will be credited. This will appear as a credit entry in the bank statement, but it still won't be recorded in the cash book. So, this could be the answer. Let's look at C. Direct debit will have been debited to your bank statement. Uncredited lodgement, this will appear in the cash book, not in the bank statement. Unpresented share, this will as well appear in the cash book, but not in the bank statement. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. Number six. This control account is used in facilitating A, the location of errors in various accounts. Yes, we use, courage, we use control account to locate errors in the accounts. B, the update of bank transactions. No, not B. C, the payment of debts, the payments of debts and liabilities of the firm. No. D, location of petty cash book error. No. E, balance in the trial, trial balance, no. So, we use control account to locate errors in the various accounts. So, the correct answer is option A. A is the answer. Number seven. Subscription in areas. is treated in the statement of financial position of a not-for-profit organization as, you know, subscription is an income. Income areas, income, outstanding income is an asset, not a liability. But if this were so, if this were an expenses, expenses in areas will appear as a liability. But subscription is an income. Subscription in areas is an asset. Now let's look at the option. A current asset, yes. B current liabilities, no. C not current asset, no. D, intangible asset, no. E, tangible asset, no. The correct answer is option A. That's number eight. Accounting concepts are generally accepted principles used in the preparation and presentation of financial statements, which are the following. is not an accounting concept. Which of the following is not an accounting concept? Now, A. Going concern. Going concern is an accounting concept. No, the one that is not an accounting concept, that is what you need. Going concern is an accounting concept. Impairment is not an accounting concept. We have impairment laws in IAS 36. You can watch my video on IAS 36 to learn more about impairment of an asset. So it's not an accounting concept. So the answer, impairment is not an accounting concept. Answer could be the option B. C, there is matching concept. Periodicity is also an accounting concept. And prudence, we have prudency concept. So there is no impairment concept. So the answer is option B. So B is the answer. Number nine, according to IAS 2 inventories, which are the following costs? should be included in determining the value of inventories of a manufacturing company. A. We have carriage inwards. B. Carriage outwards. C. General administrative overheads. D. Depreciation of land and building. E. Discount allowed. So, carriage inwards is the cost that should be included in the valuation of inventory. For better understanding, go and watch my presentation on IAS2 inventories. The, the carriage outwards is a selling expenses, it should be excluded. General administrative overheads should be excluded, depreciation should be excluded, and discount allowed should be excluded. Therefore, only carriage inwards should be included in inventory valuation. Therefore, the correct answer is option A. A is the answer. Now, number 10. In accordance with IAS 1, presentation of financial statements, which are the following, is not a component of financial statements. Which one is not? We have statement of financial position, this is a component. It's one of the components of financial statement in accordance with 
IES 1. Then, statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income is one of the components, so the answer is not B. Statement of changes in equity is also one of the components, the answer is not C. There is no statement of affairs, so the answer is option D. There is statement of cash flows as one of the components, therefore the correct answer is option D. D is the answer to number 10. So, I'm going to end this presentation here. My next presentation, I will examine other questions not yet examined. Thanks for watching AZCAN.